Hello there, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be solving another cool problem where we have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y equals 2016. And obviously, we want to solve for x and y such that x and y are positive integers. Great, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and start with the fact that 2016, which is the right hand side of our equation, is positive. Therefore, the left hand side must be positive which means that 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y is positive, which means that 2 to the power of x is greater than 2 to the power of y, which means that x is greater than y. Great. So x and y are two positive integers, and x is the greater one. So that means that I can go ahead and find some integer like n and say that x equals n plus y. And this is kind of obvious, right? Because let's say x equals 10 and y equals 8. Then I can go ahead and say that n must be 2. Or let's say x equals 5 and y equals 1. Then I can say that n equals 4. So for any two non-equal integers, I can find an integer that I can add to the smaller one and get the bigger one. So that's true for any two integers. Next, let's go ahead and rewrite our original equation. So we had 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y equals 2016. And since we assume that x is equal to n plus y, I can go ahead and say that 2 to the power of n plus y minus 2 to the power of y equals 2016. Next, I can go ahead and use the rules of exponents and replace this with 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of y. So we have 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of y minus 2 to the power of y equals 2016. Next, let's go ahead and pull out this 2 to the power of y. So we're gonna have 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of n minus one equals 2016. Awesome, next, let's go ahead and factor out 2016. So 2016 is two times 1008. 1008 is two times 504. 504 is two times 252. 252 is two times 126. 126 is two times 63. And 63 is nine times seven, which is the same thing as three squared times seven. So 2016 is one, two, three, four, and five. It is equal to two to the power of five times three squared times seven. So basically we have two to the power of y times two to the power of n minus one equals two to the power of five times three squared times seven. And we wanna solve for y and n, but notice that this and this are even, and this and this are odd. So I can go ahead and say that the even factors are equal, and the same thing goes for the odd factors, which means that two to the power of y should equal two to the power of five, and two to the power of n minus one should equal three squared times seven. So let's go ahead and use these two equations to solve for y and n. Obviously from the first one, I'm gonna get y equals five. And the right hand side of the second equation is 63. Therefore, two to the power of n equals 64. And 64 is two to the power of six. So two to the power of n equals two to the power of six, which means that n equals six. But notice that we wanted to solve for x and y. And remember that x equals y plus n, therefore x equals five plus six, which equals 11. Great, so we solved for x and y. And for the final thing, let's go ahead and check these two values out and see if they are valid. So, Based on the original equation, 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y is supposed to equal to 2016. 
and we found out that x is equal to 11 and y is equal to 5. Therefore, based on these values, the left hand side of our equation is going to be 2 to the power of 11 minus 2 to the power of 5, which is equal to 2048, which is 2 to the power of 11 minus 32, which is 2 to the power of 5. And this subtraction is going to be 2016, which is the right hand side of our equation. So x equals 11 and y equals 5 does satisfy our equation. Therefore, it is a valid solution. Great. So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this. Hopefully, I will see you later. Goodbye for now.